Hello everybody, welcome to this how-to video how to assemble a Megalodon ECCR for diving. This video is no substitute for proper training. We encourage you to get trained properly. Please enjoy, sit back and watch the video as we assemble this ECCR Megalodon rebreather to go diving. Today we're going to assemble the Megalodon rebreather here in front of me, which is in bits and pieces. The Megalodon is an electronically controlled closed circuit rebreather and what we're seeing here is uh, what I call the bucket or the tube where the canister or the absorbent scrubber is sitting inside. We have them sitting over here. I have a radial over here and I have an axial over here. We have the tanks which is the oxygen and the diluent tank. We have the regulators, the wing you cannot see it right now, back plate, we got the head with the oxygen sensors, we got the counter lungs, we got the loop. And in order to put this all together, I'm going to use a checklist. Because statistically, if you use a checklist, you are less likely to die. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze the gas inside our tanks. We have an oxygen tank and we have a diluent tank. Uh, I just don't know what's really inside the tank here because I haven't analyzed it yet. So I'm going to use an oxygen analyzer. I'm going to switch it on and then calibrate it to 20.8. And then analyze first the air, which I'm using currently as a diluent, adjusting a little bit of flow. Twenty point one zero. That looks like air to me. And now we're looking for the oxygen. In a closed circuit rebreather, we're really looking for ninety nine percent oxygen content. Well, I can adjust the oxygen content in my electronics to anything between ninety five and one hundred percent, but I would like to have as high as an oxygen content as possible. We are at sea level currently, so I'm looking at one hundred percent, which I have here. One hundred percent oxygen. That's great. Now I'm going to use my checklist and I'm going to fill out that I have analyzed the gas which is 99% oxygen and 21% of diluent which is my air. Alright, so now that we analyzed the tanks we're going to assemble or we're starting with the assembly of the unit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tanks onto the unit to give it some weight so it's not so wobbly on the table. Uh, wobbly on the table and being close to the edge of the table, always be careful that you uh, place the uh, rebreather not directly on the edge so it doesn't fall off. It's not a good thing to do. As I am uh, putting on my tanks, uh, currently I'm using these two liter steel tanks here. With that I have a duration of over three hours uh, because I'm not doing so much deep diving at the moment and not so much uh, up and down diving at the moment. And uh, I'm using the Tiger gear. Uh, the shadow gear came out a couple of years ago. Uh, my rebreather is about five years old now and I don't have the shadow gear. So, tiger gear, here we go. Putting on the diluent tank first, sliding it on. Uh, putting a little boldy here on the side, make sure the tank doesn't fall off. Next thing going to go is the oxygen tank. They are all analyzed, labeled and even color coded. And I'm going to put on the oxygen tank on the other side. When I put the tanks on, or the configuration of the tanks is in a way that uh, the uh, tanks are somewhat closer to my body and they don't stick out like big rockets and that makes it more streamlined if you're going in the overhead environment such as wreck diving or cave diving. Uh, now that we have the tanks on, uh, the next thing, uh, step is going to be to put the regulators on. We have a bunch of regulators here. Uh, the Regulator on the oxygen side is a, a regular first stage uh, with a somewhat lower tuned intermediate pressure and I'm gonna put the first stage on. The first oxygen first stage or regulator is supplying the oxygen to the solenoid as well as to the manual oxygen injector button. So now I have that on. I put on the, the diluent side. You see, I'm wetting the O-ring a little bit, so it seals a little better over here. All right, now we have the regulators on. All right.
right, so now that we have assembled the tanks onto the unit, uh, we're going to go ahead and work on the counter lungs. Uh, the counter lungs are sitting in front of the unit. And we need the counter lungs so we can comfortably breathing in and out of the uh, rebreather. Because if we would have a rigid bottle or rigid body, we could not inhale and exhale on, uh, in or out of it. So we need something flexible. And here are the counter lungs we're talking about. They're going to sit left and right on top of our shoulders. And that way we're going to have a very little difference in hydrostatic pressure once we're diving with the rebreather underwater. And the work of breathing is super smooth, super silk. Right, so we're going to have the rebreather counter lungs going onto the unit in the front. We have the inhalation counter lung and we have the exhalation counter lung. Here we go. Almost looks like a rebreather. What's missing is the loop and the head and the scrubber. So what we're going to do next is first uh, looking at our checklist, making sure that we, whatever we do, we tick off here on our checklist to make sure we don't forget anything. Because statistically, again, it is uh, very easy to die on a rebreather if you don't do your checklist because you may forget something.